Hello. I'm Selena. I'm Bree. And this is going to be our first uh, K-pop donuts debate argument. The topic is CL having her solo album uh, starting next year in the U.S. Um, I see don't know. my face? Do you, do you see this face? Don't I look excited? <laughs> totally. Well, she, so excited. She's hyped to argue with me about this. So, Even though I think we're actually on the same side. Te- we might Some be. points other than others. So we're trying to decide how we should go about this. So um, do you want me to start? Can I start, please? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Argument one. I am really annoyed about the fact that she's having a debut in the United States. Not mad. Well, no, actually I am. I'm quite pissed. Because what whatever happened to 21? Please, someone tell me what happened to 21. They gave 21 a half-baked ass U.S. shit shit with that song they did with Will I Am. Oh, I remember Whose that. name eludes me at the moment. Something about the world. But um, I don't know. it was kind of ridiculous. Only members in that group who speak legit English being Bone and CL. Yeah. And Minty said literally nothing throughout that song. CL, meanwhile, in the last year or so, solo debut with Baddest Female. We're not even going to get into that. Then another on Crush had another solo song. Mental, Mental Breakdown. Breakdown. Men Boom. I will never get the big We're deal. not going to talk about that either. And now she's having a solo come out in America. Boom was on Roommate. First thing she did by herself, besides her little solo songs that she had way when we first started. It's okay, baby, don't you cry. Oh, gosh. Right. She's a great soloist. She's but you, you're amazing. Yours first. You're Meanwhile, first. Dara, who's been wanting to act and be on variety shows since the dawn of two, 21, nothing. But CL. I've never seen her on a show. CL's Baddest Female was the most expensive thing YG has ever done. Not really worth it money. in my eyes. <laughs> um, I actually liked the video, the song. However, I was nah, like, nah, 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 nah. No. I never so agitated with the song, but it was just like, I had high expectations of CL coming out with that, and mm-hmm. then heard it and was like, the video is cute though. But then she is having a solo in America. Now, this suspicious thing with Minzy taking the 21 out of her Instagram and Twitter name Makes at the wonder. same time that CL's about to start working on her. What's what? really going on in YG it, right it's now? It's just like, I don't know. It's obnoxious. And then it sucks. YG's pulling an SM right now because CL is about to come out in America. Minzy's doing questionable things about her love or distaste with the group right now. And Bom and Dara are eating corn. Bom and Dara are just somewhere. And then YG's just like, oh shit, we just got to number one because SM done fucked up. We can't start fucking up too. So they're gonna... Icon is coming out. Yeah, but they kind of just messed themselves up. They really that. did. They're about, to, they're about to drop Icon. They're about to bring out the new girl group next month. Oh, supposedly. Just, yeah, I heard about that. And also, Epic High is coming back. That YG is, does not release anything like this. If you're a YG stan, you know YG does not do that, 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 at all. Never. They usually give you, like, a gap. Like, right. Okay, gap. There's, you can have this, you can have this. Four years later, yep, then you bam, get this. here's a new thing. Like, Big Bang. They're supposed to be coming back for the past two months, <clears throat> nothing. We're like, Tam's like, oh, well, I'm going to make a teaser. Dude, we've been waiting, like, two and a half years, almost three. Like, Look at every time YG said, oh, this group... Big Bang's coming back, or 21's coming back, Alive. or Lehigh is coming back. You Insert. know who really came back all them times? CL. You know who's the face of YG right now? CL. And she's coming out in America. I I mean, by all means, get your paper boo-boo. But, I mean, there's more to YG than CL right now, and mm-hmm. there's definitely more to 21 than CL. And it's like, I feel like a lot of blackjacks probably gonna be mad about us saying this, but no, seriously, they're giving no attention to the rest of the group. They are none. And CL, I'm not even a blackjack, and I can say that. Like, right. And oh my God, 
I am the best being on the Windows commercial. I guess we probably should have seen this coming. Somebody is coming to America. That. I just made the I connection never as I'm that. talking right now. Because every time we hear the commercial, we're like, Nate got China. We, we go. But we're like, why is it on a Microsoft commercial? All you like, see is me fly through my house every time that commercial comes on. And I'm excited. I start dancing. There's tears. I heard it in a movie theater. And I was just like... It's in the movie theaters, people. <laughs> awesome. I was like, like a West 21 playing while I'm trying to watch, like, The Perfect Storm. Like, what the heck? It was, and my thing is, if any group, especially girl group in K-pop, 21 would be the best group to bring to America. Why? Yeah, because group. they have the group, word? group, group, not as solo. A whole. <laughs> because 21's already big in America with K-pop fans. Everybody knows and, that. And what, and what do they do? What do they do? Hey, CL, you want to debut in America? Why is 21 even still a group? It's kind of rude that they do that, too. Because she's not the... She... Hmm. No, you're still having your debate. Never mind. Um, I mean, I could go on that. Go ahead. Yeah. The thing about 21 is that I used to be a fan of them, like, a long-ass time ago. But as time went on, I just got, like, sick of it because CL was constantly just taking over the raps, taking over the singing, and then she was always the face on all the magazines. Not the other members. I honestly forgot there were other members after seeing her so many times. I go, oh, yeah, she's in 21. I forgot about that. When's the last time you saw Dara or Boehm on a magazine cover? I miss them. Dara is my bias in 21. And, right. you know, everybody, you check a 21 video, everybody, if not most, I'm not saying this about all blackjacks, but most are all, like, CL's the best, she's the diva, she's the queen. I go, first off, he's the diva of K-pop. And second... <laughs> You know, you never give Dara, and Dara may not be the strongest vocalist, but she's human too. Her brother just left M Black because he wanted to pursue a solo career. What does that say? She could easily go and be a soloist if she wanted to. But just like any other group, it's just like taking, um, I don't know, like Heechul out of Super Junior and having him go solo. That makes no sense because as a group, they're just amazing together. I'd curse. I'd like, just say that. He, He's a hot mess. <laughs> He's a complete mess. He's a complete mess. Love him. Like, the thing about 21 is that they're a great dynamic group, and they even say that they have this um, thing where a lot of people can't approach them because of their confidence level. But that's only when they're all together. Whenever they're not together, you can see the individuality. But as for coming to America, like, look what happened with the Wonder Girls. That flopped. I mean, like, no, flopped is if something would have happened for them. That just didn't even start. <laughs> like, people they like, did that one um, schoolgirls special. Yep. And that went from here to here, and then that's it. Yeah, because it makes you wonder, like, I'm pretty sure they're thinking, well, because of Girls' Gener- uh, Wonder blah, blah, blah. Girls, um, you know, there's that one person that's like, oh, I know the Wonder Girls from the Jonas Brothers tour. I go, okay, right, all right. Anything else? Anything else? Like, like, they were thinking, I know two years ago they wanted to bring Sistar to the U.S., and I was like, okay, Sistar's not that big, and I guess they were thinking, okay, it's not a good idea because they're not ready yet, whereas 21, sure, they're ready, but as a group, I can't see CL. I can't imagine going somewhere and then hearing CL pop up on the radio. Like, What would she say? All of a sudden, Justin Bieber's a feature. I'm sorry. What, what Under would, the same company? Nah. Justin Bieber, Psy, and uh, Ariana Grande. Like, what? Like, if she's going to have a... And then CL. Like, how does that even work? It's, I can't. She's, she's talented. I'll give her credit. But I just don't think that she'll make it. She won't. It's not even that I don't think she'll make it. Because knowing CL and knowing YG and the people they'll use to back her, she'll get somewhere. It's the simple oh, yeah. fact of you're not the only member in your group. Yeah. And it's the fact that YG has completely trashed the other three members of 21. They don't exist anymore. I'm so sad. Yeah, it's depressing. It's like, it's for Black Jacks, which is one reason why I'm wondering why so many people aren't saying anything. Because CL has been the face of everything for the past year. I think it's a 50-50 shot. Just like us. Some think that she can make it. And then they're like, okay, I'll support her. If she doesn't, some are just like, oh, well, she shouldn't have done it anyway. You have those Korea biased fans who are like, she never should have went over there to begin with. You know, we have hypocrite fans. So, um... I'm going to support her because she is still a part of 21. mm -hmm. And I fell in love with her when I first started listening to 21. She was my absolute favorite member of all time. But as the years have gone on, I feel like CL has lost her real self. dedication right like group. what makes her the, like a, your group you're the group's leader you yeah. lead the group you don't lead yourself just mm-hmm. yourself and you're leaving your other members behind that's trash to me it's terrible but 
I'm curious to see how this goes. I want to. I'm curious to see how YG releases all of this, but I'm so against this solo U.S. thing. Yeah. So against it. So so against it. I'm not a 21 fan anymore. So technically, I'm the one that I'm always on the fence with everything. I just like to watch with like a bucket of popcorn and some gummy worms because when it came to Girls Generation, they lost a member, and like that was just like I go, oh, there goes their credit. Not that they're a bad group anymore now that Jessica's gone, but it's just, like, it's happening as a domino effect. Like, every every single day you fear that your favorite group is going to lose a member. You fear that they're going to go somewhere and not come back, and then the group just breaks up. Like, I'm terrified for Infinite, for Teen Top, for TVXQ, but then I get TVXQ is going to the military. Look at everything but, that's happened this year. Between oh God. the companies the dying, the members passing away, yeah, people, this and right. that happening, all of this. It's kind of like... This year is real shit. That's why everybody's saying, like, let this year end, then decide what you want to do, because it's just been... But this year, it's like every good group is dying, and, like, just fizzling out, or losing members, or going through this, that, and the third, and now all we have is these new groups. And it's just, like, you pray for them, too. You're like, okay, just, I hope you last. That's why when, uh, right. even new groups, like, when we were watching ZPCG yesterday, we were like, we hope they last. Right. Because it's also high competition, but it's also a lot of stress. And I even said it before, you know, the first one to three years, EXO has only been around for two, and look at what happened to them for, yeah. like, racial discriminants or just something. Just complete. You so. go here, and then in a blink of an eye, it plummets. Like, then you see the true colors of the members, so. All hell breaks loose. So with Minzy, it makes you wonder if she's trying to speak out against what CL did, which is, you know, you see the true colors of the group members where you really realize that they're not as close as they appear to be just Even because they're in a group. She put the 21 back in her Instagram and Twitter name, but then it makes you think, okay, who told her to do that? Yeah. They like, were obviously, like, put that back in there. And she took it off. She took it off for a reason. Like, who told you to put it back or who put it back for you? Yeah. So... That's, that's really just what I wanted to say. I just need to get that. Those were our chest. debates. We were just like, okay, because I'm just... It's been pissing me off for the past, like, hour and a half, yeah. and... Sucks waking up in the morning. It's like, CL to go to U.S. for debut. I go, pardon? My, I, saw that yes, I saw it yesterday, actually, and my brain just went, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, I just... I swear. I, I don't know. I think, like, the biggest fear of Black Jax is that she's going to leave and not come back. I think that's the biggest fear. I feel like that's a fear everyone should have. Is, is that, that CL's going to leave or the group is going to break up in general because of what's happening right now? Yeah, because it's like the U.S., people get money hungry. You know, money. She may have a lot of money, but then again, <laughs> you go to the U.S., totally Like, look, world. look who the hell 21 started with, Will I Am and Akon. When was the last that. time any of them was relevant? Smack that. Sorry. Anybody? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time Akon was relevant. Um, <laughs> anybody from America knows... Will I am all right. He was with Black Eyed Peas. He did some other stuff. Cool. When was the last time he was really, really relevant? Like really relevant, right? And Akon, why would you give that to your group? I don't understand. Even though, actually, I'm lying. That was Wonder Girls. It was Wonder Girls. Still, it's a still. Look good. at that. Like, because Wonder, Wonder Girls, Girls was a great group too. And they had like money. I love like money without Akon's part. What oh does that God. tell how you about, guys? How about when JYJ, when they first became JYJ, they released this English album and they put um, Kanye West on there? And he was like, it's JYJ. You don't even know who they are. You can you and, spell JYJ? No, and for then, real? like, <laughs> all the members of JYJ, except for um, Utune, can't speak English fluently, so the song just literally got nowhere. The album was like, boom, nobody Actually, wanted to buy it. Actually, funny enough, I didn't even know that was a thing until she said it. Yeah, you should look it up, because it's an, I never even made it through the video for Empty, because it was so... So I'm not saying that people oh. like K-pop idols can't be successful in America. Oh no, no they can. I'm saying that when it comes to CL's BTS. case, she should at least yeah, Bangtan. SM Town in general, Let, like SM Town goes through a lot, but they sold they, out. They everywhere. messed up America. They come to America and it's like they got Madison Square Garden. Like, boom. I mean, I feel like this SM Town though, since they lost so many people, let them come to America now. It's kind of like I'm burning your car. Pretty like, much. Yeah, it's terrible. But I mean. It's not like people can't come to America and be successful. It's the simple fact that when it comes to CL's case, she needs to be here with her group. If yeah. you're going to make an official, group. first, actual debut in America, you need to do it with your group. Because that's where you started. That's like, where you started. You started in your group. Don't, don't forget your roots. You started you in your group. Finish with your group. I am predicting it now. 21's about to be over. I'm saying it now. And that actually hurts my feelings because Kepsa. I love that group. Kepsa? It's terrible. <laughs> Kepsa! 
Uh, all the greats that you know now are slowly, not so slowly, going out. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear about that about Infinite. No. Okay, no. Let's with the with the exception of Infinite, I trust them. Ooh, I know I trust. They them stuck too. together all these years. Oh my They're god. Not passing out now please don't but please don't i love you guys please don't yeah please infinite. don't okay fair. stay together and black b and black b oh my god if, if black b was to break up I'd be if really zico upset. left the girl i'd punch him in the face i wouldn't i wouldn't be sad i'd go up grab him by the neck and be like you're going back to black b yeah because we did not go through all of this with you damn bbc's did not cry for a <laughs> yeah, year or so that, that y'all were done <laughs> Just for you to... Zico, don't do this. Go sit down. <laughs> I love how we instantly blame Zico. I feel like it would be B-Bomb or Kyung. It'd or... be probably anybody but Zico, but I'm still saying. Zico, keep your group together. Please. You're the leader. That's the thing about a leader. Leader. Take care CL, of your members. keep your group together. That's all we're saying. Don't let it fall apart. But we just want to get that rant out. It took 16 minutes. Don't hate us too much. I feel like they're going to hate me because I was so indecisive with my words. I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah, we're all indecisive. I'm not, I'm not a blackjack, so... I... I coast. <laughs> I coast. So, yeah. Um, I don't think we have any reactions planned for today. If anything, we were just going to... You guys are probably going to get a shitload of bullshit videos today, if anything. Oh, my God. Because I, as of the other day, I learned what Cap Song is. Cap Song? Like, and, like, she kept on doing it. And I go, what is that? She goes, you've never heard of Cap Song? I'm like, no, because nobody ever puts it online. She goes, hun, you just didn't... You weren't there. Because you don't like Bakia. And I'm Everyone like, Everyone okay. who's ever seen... And heard Cap song. Leave your comments down below on how many times it has been literally anywhere. Literally anywhere. Like I've seen it written like before, but I'm like, what the hell does that mean? And I scroll over instead of questioning it because I feel like it was something dirty. Uh, I was like, uh, Cap song. We were swe- uh, uh, <laughs> Cap, Cap song. <laughs> so we saw the video with him in EXO Showtime, and when he got scared, and we were just like, she now knows Cap song. I'm half her walking around. Cap song. Cap song. It's just because I do it really unique or something. EXO's future. Cap song. Same EXO. My bad. Oh you didn't my even hear that. God. <laughs> Stab her. We're gonna sign out now. <laughs> Do it for you guys. It's okay. I'm an XOL. I love them quite generously. XOL. 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 I'm an XO loser. <laughs> bye, guys. I heard bye, Kai. <laughs> <laughs>